Hello and welcome to 1909 Games. My name is Jan and I like good deals and I love to make games. So what is there better than a really good bundle of assets in the Unity Asset Store? So we have a new mega bundle going on just right now for the next 13 days I guess. Yesterday was 14 so it needs to be around 13 days. So there is quite some time to think about if you really want it or not. But there are quite a lot of assets and you see them right behind me. So let's go! Okay, so here we are in the Unity Asset Store and you already can see there is a lot going on. So we have three tiers, the first for 26.80, but it's euro, so you have to, you know, it, it's around $30, I guess. For $35 around that, we will have three more assets and for 35 euros, so I would guess around $40, we have 10 more assets. So these are at all, if you take all, is this a 16 asset? So if you take the highest tier, you will get all of the assets and that's really amazing. And I think this time we have a really, really great bundle right here. I can tell you why. At first, we have some assets that fit very good together. So if you want to make a fantasy game, you have a lot of assets to go for. So let's start with the first tier. We have the stylized rocks right here. So let's go to the full detail side. See that? They just look amazing. I've used them for a prototype by myself in another project. So I already purchased it uh, way, I don't know, last year. But you can see it looks really amazing. And there are not that many of different, you know, formations in there. But you see what you can do with it. Nobody will see it if you repeat it uh, over and over again. You see that? These are the same assets again and again, but they look so good. And you will have maybe not just rocks, you will have something else. So this is a pretty nice asset right here. The next asset, it will fit in a fantasy world very, very nice. So we have this magic abilities. See that? See the video right here? It's just amazing. So how much time would you spend to make something like this? So even for 16 euros, so I think around 20 uh, dollars, that would be worth it. 100%. I mean, look at how much time you could save. So there are 32 abilities in this pack. So this is really amazing. Next up, we have some sound. So this portion audio right here is the uh, studio and we have the magic sci-fi sword sound pack so these i had a i heard it and you can do as well so you can just click on it right here with a, a quick look and just open up the video and you will hear all of the sounds that's amazing okay and there are almost 280 sounds you see it 279 sfx and the good thing about sounds is you can use them over and over again nobody will care we will recognize and they sound really good so why not this is a no-brainer for me right here but let's go out into the second tier so here we have one asset that looks nice and look at the price so even just that is worth the whole bundle with the full price so that's a really a no-brainer but I think in this case, I mean, the overall look of all of the assets is pretty good. So you can make a game from all of them together, but I think this doesn't fit 100%. I just think it doesn't fit the style of the other assets right here. But you can, of course, make usage of this anyway. You will not just make one game in your life, right? So you have a little bit of a different variety. And you see, we have some houses here. So we have a village. It's really great. So this is a nice asset but it doesn't fit 100% in here. And then we go back to the fantasy portal. So back to the things that fit in this one universe that I could imagine could work with just this asset packs right here. And you have this portals. I mean, we have this kind of fantasy world that I have in mind when I see all of these assets. So this, fits 100% and I love just the style, this simplistic style up here you see the stones they look so clean it re it's really nice it looks really magical so nothing can destroy it I really like it and I mean it's normally not that expensive but it looks amazing just look at the video you can see it it's it's amazing then another asset that's more like a tool is I step and let's have a look at this you see this robot and just look at the foot it looks so good if you have done a 3d game before that's you know a no-brainer i'm just a little bit careful with assets like this it always looks like yeah you drag and drop and that's it but mostly you have to do a little bit more than that and here we see a comparison so one of the foots you know is with the normal unity you know thing <laughs> and the other uses i step and especially with uh, slopes and with stairs it looks really really better if the foot gets the right angle and we have one more thing here. You see this running animation. It looks so much more 
dynamic. Okay, next up we get to our third tier. And the first thing we have here is a great environment. It looks stylized, so it will fit the portals and the stylized rocks and also the abilities. So I think we have a great pack right here, a great world that we can build just with these assets. So you see that we have a lot of trees. We have, let's see right here, you see it? We have five of these normal trees. Then this is, I don't know, are they called pine trees? Is this a pine tree? But you have a lot of variety right here. You see that bushes, smaller trees and grass and flowers. So this is a really the essential. You can call it the ground foundation of a game. You can make a whole forest with just these assets. I'm 100% sure about that because I use not that many assets in my forest as well because it's just enough to have a variety of a few trees. Okay, and what fits very good in there is this dragon. You see, it's a little bit more detailed, so it's not that stylized. But I have, by the way, Marvel's Animations makes amazing assets. So, uh, so uh, Animal Controller, that's an amazing asset as well from Marvel's. And, and I have the low poly animals from him. So it's really amazing. And you see, it looks a little bit more detailed. It doesn't fit too good in the stylized world. But it also has, where is it? Here you see it, this low poly with a little bit of, let's go to the full side so we see the full detail. See that? This is more like the slow poly stylized version of this dragon. And that looks really great and will fit to this whole world very good. You see the comparison very good right here. Let's bring it up. You see that this is more like the po low poly stylized look. Next up, we have a tool that I've used, but not this version, so a version before that. And that's the low poly terrain. We have some kind of low poly, but I think it will not fit 100% as I used it back then. You see, I used it like this, so we have this really, really uh, low poly kind of thing. But here you see, when it's a little bit in the distance, it could fit your style very good and also the style of the other assets. So I think with this asset, it's a great asset, so it's a no-brainer for me. Uh, uh, just the price, look at the price and the price for the whole pack, so it's a no-brainer. But, but this is a, one of the assets where I say, maybe you can use it for especially this whole pack. Maybe not, I don't know, you have to decide. And then we have some more sounds here, RPG and dungeon sounds, uh, almost uh, 800 sounds, that's amazing. Sounds, you, you can have sounds all the time it's, it's so good to have sounds and a good variety of sounds but you can get lost in this you can get addicted to searching for the 100 percent right sound so be careful about that and then we have an asset right here's the projectiles it's the same publisher like the uh, abilities up here you can be sure that these two styles fit together very well and then we have something that doesn't fit the style so good but looks just amazing look at this weapons the mad evil weapon it, it's just so beautiful the materials you see that right here let's just go to the full detail to see it a little bit bigger i want to see it full size you see that it's so detailed i wouldn't use it in the game that i have in mind when i see this pack but it's like it's so it looks so beautiful look at this just this details on the back right here and we have quite some weapons going on here so an axe sword this hammer it, it's just amazing Next up, we have the full screen editor. That is comes very handy, especially when you're on game view and you have a full screen. That's just a good tool, in my opinion. And we have the auto fence and wall builder. And that saves time. I am making a game at the moment and just placing the fences by hand. And it takes so much time. And you see how easily it seems to be with this asset. As I told you, with tools like this, I'm always a little bit careful when it comes to my expectations because sometimes it's more than or what we expect what we have to do um, at the beginning when i just started out with unity i was like okay i will use playmaker just drag and drop stuff it couldn't be too difficult but nah, it's programming in another way but it is still complicated so i'm careful with that but it looks very very good right here and now we have UMA for the RPG Builder. So since the RPG Builder is not in this set, I will not go to, into this too much uh, or at all. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. And we have the Path Painter 2. And this is an asset that looks very interesting to me because if you have done something like this or a terrain like this, it's you know how much time you can spend on getting a path or getting a good river bed. And you see how easy it looks to make mountains right here but we will see later in this video right here let's see right here we see we can make river beds as well and you see it automatically changes the material here um i'm not i've never used this tool but it looks so interesting to me 
Okay, and that's it for this mega bundle. I hope you liked this video. I just want to mention, I have the link in the description. It is an affiliate link. If you purchase something, I will get a little bit of the money. You don't have to spend more, but it helps me a lot to keep this channel running. So another thing that you can do is just give me a like, leave a comment, and abo, I don't know, whatever you like, just communicate with me. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.